I used to be that broke mom. I used to be that mom whose account balance never goes above negative. Like it's always from one overdraft to the other. My account was always in negative. I used to be that sad, depressed and angry mom because whenever my kids get to ask me for stuff, my answer is always default no. Like it got to a point when my kids ask me for stuff, they're like, yeah, I know I can have it. Not because I don't want them to have it, but because I didn't have the resources to purchase it for them. I used to be that depressed mom because I couldn't con con contribute financially to the, fin to, the, to the home. I used to be that mom. But look at me now. I am so grateful. I am extremely grateful, guys. I tell you, I am grateful. Right now, if you look at my um, analytics, I am like literally crossing 300. I'm about to hit $300 for the month of October. And that is even the least of the amount of money I have made online this month. And this didn't come without the help of God and without hard work. Like, look, I am super excited. $300 from off of AdSense alone. Like, guys, I know this is not $1,000. This is not $2,000. This is not $10,000. This is nowhere near it. But I am grateful because last month I had nothing from, from AdSense. Two months ago, I had, like, this is my first AdSense money. And I am looking at it and I'm like, God, it actually happens. And so if I have the potential for $300, then I have the potential for $300,000. I used to be that mom that had nothing. Sad, broke, depressed mom. Because situation and circumstances made it such that I could not work outside the home. And even though I, I wanted to be able to contribute financially to the home, I also wanted to stay with my kids. I also wanted the time to groom and grow my own kids. I also wanted the time to nurture my own kids just the same way my own mom nurtured me but circumstances made it such that i couldn't even afford mcdonald's for my kids but look at me now look at me making internet money just because i believed just because i believed that it is something that can happen just believe because i gave it a shot and dared to show up every single day just because i dared to learn just because I dared to believe in myself, just because I dared to dream. What is that thing that you're dreaming about? What is that thing that you think that you cannot achieve? What is that thing that you're imagining in your heart and you think that you're unable to get it? What is that thing that you think you will never be able to get? Are you broke? Are you sad? Are you depressed? But are you showing up? Like I would show up teaching people how to get out of their own situation when I've, been I've not been able to get out of my own situation. I'll be there teaching people how to sort their own problems out when I still had my own problems. I'll be there encouraging people when I, I was less encouraged myself. Guys, go check, check my track record. I will post every single day on YouTube for two years. Over a thousand videos, but not even monetized. Did I get frustrated? Yes. Did I want to give up? Yes. Was there a time where I had to start all over from, a, from the start? Yes. In July, I had to start again. I had to leave 15,000 subscribers that were not responding for zero subscribers. And I started again. I was not scared to pivot. But I will show up every single day. I will show up on Instagram. I will post like three reels every day. I will show up on TikTok and do the same thing. And then I will show up on YouTube and post long form and shorts at the same time. Because I decided that I wanted to get out of the situation. I want to be able to provide a life for my kids. And so I decided to show up. And now I can, I can now see the result. I can now see the harvest of the seeds that I am planting. I see a lot of people getting frustrated. And it is crazy because this generation that we're in, everyone is getting frustrated too easy. You're getting frustrated after posting about 20 videos. You're getting frustrated because you've posted 100 videos. Well, try 1,000. 
Try 2,000. Try failing several times. I told you guys, I have an Etsy store that failed. Failed because I could not even pay the listing fee. And they shut it down. Because I didn't have money to pay the listing fee. It was 25 cent cents per, per listing. I had maybe 10 listings there. And so maybe I could not pay $5. And that store flopped. Because I didn't have money to pay for it. So don't think that people that you see winning have not failed. We have failed several times. I have been defeated several times. I have cried several times. When I was about to start again, I cried and I'm like, I have spent years. I tried to make it work, but it never worked. So sometimes you're doing something. You're in a particular niche. You're doing something and your spirit is telling you that you need to change. Your spirit is telling you that you need to pivot. Your spirit is telling you that this is not where you need to be. I want you to make that effort and do it. Do yourself a good and do it. Everyone is talking about DoDash. Everyone is talking about people that are blowing. Everybody is talking about Dash Affair. Everyone is talking about... Have you seen how much work she has put? She has put in like 10 years on YouTube. Or you've put in like two months on YouTube and you're telling me you're tired. The algorithm doesn't like you. People don't like you. But have you learned? What have you learned in the process? Because you must learn. There is time for seed. There is time for planting and there is time for harvesting. How can you be planting and be complaining that you have not seen harvest? Right while you're still planting. There is time to plant and there is time to harvest. And I am superbly grateful to God for this harvest. It is $300 that I can see now. <laughs> but I know it's only up from here. It's only up from here because I'm not going back to that point that I came from. I'm not. Because I'm willing to put even more into planting even though this is harvest this is also planting even though this is harvest time this is also seed time so are you getting frustrated during your seed time have you planted the seeds are you whining while you're planting the seeds or are you trying to learn every time in those two three years i will come on youtube and I will watch people. I will see how they're doing it. I would watch how they're doing it. I will look at their thumbnails. I will go to Canva and try. I am not a graphic designer. I learned on the job. Everyone is learning on the job. You're either learning on the job or you're whining and complaining on the job. Which one are you doing? Listen, you can do it. Everything has been put in you to do that thing. That looks hard. Everything has been put in you to do it. It may look hard, but you have been given the ability to do it. If only you will just do it. If only you will just take that bold step and do it. You have been given the ability to do it. If only you will just do it. If only you will just stop complaining and start to listen. Start to listen to what God is trying to tell you in that season. Start to listen to what he's trying to teach you. And make a conscious effort to learn it. I am grateful to the over 5,000 subscribers that I have. You guys have given my life a meaning. I can assure you. You guys have given my life a meaning. You guys are an amazing community. And I love having you here. But I also want you to grow. I also want you to know that you cannot start getting frustrated at your seed time. Okay? I hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has, kindly hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and listen, consider joining, being a member of this um, of this channel because that helps me, okay? All right, guys, have an amazing day. My name is Toby Rich.